Have you heard there's a place on Earth where the closest people aren't on a boat but flying 400 kilometers above us in space? That place is called Point Nemo, the secret spacecraft graveyard in the middle of the ocean. Point Nemo sits in the South Pacific and it isn't even real land. It's just a lonely spot on the map, the farthest point from any coastline on the entire planet. From there to the nearest bits of land, tiny islands near Easter Island, Antarctica and Ducey Island, it's about 2,700 kilometers in every direction. If you stood there, all you'd see is endless blue. That's exactly why space agencies chose it as a landing zone for dead spacecraft. When they're done with old space stations and cargo ships, they carefully aim them to re-enter the atmosphere and crash into the ocean near Point Nemo, where they break apart and sink to the seafloor more than 4,000 meters deep. Over the years, more than 260 pieces of space hardware have been dumped there, including Russia's Mir space station, and in the future, even the International Space Station is expected to end its life here. The weirdest part? Most of the time, the closest humans to Point Nemo are astronauts orbiting overhead, not sailors on the surface. The name Nemo comes from Latin, meaning no one. Perfect for a place almost no one ever visits, and a little nod to Captain Nemo from 20,000 leagues under the sea. Maybe the coolest thing about Point Nemo is this. It's both the most remote place on Earth and the largest space junkyard on the planet. A silent reminder that every giant leap into space leaves a trail of metal resting forever on the ocean floor. So, would you dare take a ship to the middle of nowhere? Tell me in the comments and follow for more strange stories from our planet.